why you are pulling me like this. Did you cook anything more wonderful than what, than what you have been eating before? Just come sit down and eat. Is this a time? <laughs> you are coming <laughs> This is a special one. Ah, just eat. Don't try to flatter me. So, what makes you think I lost appetite? Well, when the size of the ball of your fufu starts getting smaller, uh -huh. and when the remnant in your plate starts getting bigger, uh -huh. and then you frown while eating, <laughs> then I know that you are losing appetite. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I like your observation. You know a man can pick malaria even before the signs begin to manifest. How about that? Oh my How lord. I'm sorry. No. Are you sick? I'm okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Welcome. Hello. Fine. Just like that. Allah. In her school uniform. Allah. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Why I said we should allow her? The way she pounces on food is not the way she eats. She can only do that when you are eating, not in my food. <laughs> the spoiled child. one side like a factory food. Is anything the matter? Please leave me alone. I won't go away. I won't leave you. Is there anything I should know? Oh my God. You're not feeling fine. Daddy! 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 Sister Mata is not feeling fine. Give me! She's in her room. Since when? So you knew that my daughter has not been feeling fine and you didn't tell me. Yeah? Just eat your food, I know the kind of sickness. Now. I don't want to see you. Go and get my car from the garage. Okay. Ah. Okay. okay. Let me get the car. Eh? Bring her down. Bring her down. Come on, baby. Sit down. Stop on the phone. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. Was going to happen. But you didn't believe me. Now you can 
Merci. Hello. Mom, what is wrong? Dad, what's the problem? Why? What's the noise all about? Ask her. Just ask your mom. That's how she keeps making a mountain out of a mole hole. What? What, 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 what mountain am I making? What mountain am I making? You were there when, when Chima, 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 uh, uh, Chima promised that once he is through with his program in London, he will come home and settle in Nigeria. Were you not there when he made that promise? Now he has sent an email that, that, that he has got a job in Canada. What nonsense is this? Mommy, mommy, what's wrong with Chima's working in Canada? You never cease to amaze me sometimes, eh? Just leave your mom. Let her continue with her baseless argument. Baseless argument? Did you hear her father? He said I am making a baseless argument. Okay, fine. If I make baseless arguments, that means you two give comic explanations. Okay, yes, that's okay, okay, okay. I don't know what's wrong between you two, but mom, I have to go out now, okay? Okay, so, daddy, the bye. Please, 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 please what? Please what? Let's call Chima on the phone. And tell him that as the first son of his family, he should come back to Nigeria and settle. I mean, yes. Woman, what do you want to achieve by dragging him home after he achieved his uh, master's degrees? Didn't you hear he has got a job in Canada? And what's wrong with that? Everything is wrong with it. Everything. Next you will hear that he has got a wife there. And God bless my soul. If my son marries a white woman, I will do everything possible to make it a catastrophe. You will do what? Exactly what I told you. I just said now. I will do it. Huh? I mean, you, my, my son cannot marry a white woman. What they do over there is experiment or contract, not marriage. Okay. How many, how many, how many white women married to our people? Didn't abandon their husband? I go back to their countries with their children, watch later in life. Just tell me one. One, and I'll believe you. Anyway, my son is not talking about marriage now. When it is time for marriage, I know what to tell him. It's like you don't understand the youth. They don't tell anyone anything. They don't tell anyone what they're planning to do until they are through the experiment. Okay. I promise you one thing. I will call him and talk to him. Now, will you let me be? Excuse me. Will you call him today? At one. I want to know. So, Sister Mother, you fell sick simply because your twin sister traveled abroad. Hmm? Do you know you were interested in telling me that I am not sister enough? You got it wrong. You're my sister. Yes. But Mary is my twin. She's like the other me. I wish you have a twin. You would have understood me better. I understand. So tell me, how do you feel Whenever you look at your twin sister's face, do you feel like you're looking at your own face? <laughs> okay. I can't answer that question. You don't need Miro at all. You don't need any Miro. So let me tell you this, Anna. Whenever you want to watch your face, just just look at your twin sister's face and you see yourself. That's why I'm missing her so badly. I mean, I can't be looking at these pictures here feeling I'm satisfied. Uh -huh. That reminds me. Have you started learning French? Why should I learn French? Ask me why you should learn French. Okay. Because your twin sister is doing a French course in France. And you know when she comes back, she's bound to be speaking French. So tell me, if she speaks and you don't understand, how will you feel? Mary will teach me when she comes back. She will teach you? Yes. Now let's watch and see. <laughs> mm, please, I need water to drink. Oh, water, okay? okay. okay.
I should be asking you that. How many times have I warned you people not to play this thing here? The popcorn popcorn you love on this glass is enough to wake up a dead man. Daddy, you exaggerate a lot. I'm not exaggerating. This game is better played outside. I'm not in this house. Huh? Um, where is Mata? She went to the internet. To the internet again today? Daddy, she went there to chat with her twin sister. See, is that why she goes there every day? Does it mean that they have given her a permanent accommodation at the Cyber Cafe? Where she sits day in, day out, from morning to night, chatting with the twin sister? Ah, Daddy, is it not better for her to chat and be healthy? It's better. That's the only way she won't be missing her twin sister. Remember, she first sick the last time because her twin sister traveled abroad. Oh, damn, ma. Where is your mother? Somebody should go into the kitchen and start making noise there. It was hunger that woke me up this day. <laughs> now I understand. There's only thing that you do that woke you up in the first place. <laughs> Dad has so many ways of announcing that you're coming. You're getting something to eat. I'm coming. Don't speak, I'm coming. All right. Dad. I think I'm more interested in talking about Nigeria because I'm here for like a month and I intend to get married within the month. Chima, how possible can that be? 
I'm sure you've not known any girl yet to marry. Why don't you mention this to us before coming home? Uh, we would, would have found you a girl, very good girl to marry. But Dad, it, it was meant to be like a surprise, sort of. And uh, that there is this lady, there is this lady that I have cherished and loved so much for the past five years. Okay. Yes, and um, I just hope she's still there waiting for me. And who is she? Mom? Dad, I don't think you know. Neither do you, big mouth. Okay. I think I don't know her. I'm going to call her name right now and you're going to know I know her. <laughs> don't, don't mind your brother. I mean, let's, let's, let's face the, the serious issue at hand. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. I'm going to look for her. I think I know where she lives because we've been communicating. Right. So I'm going to find her. And the minute I get back, I'll tell you what the situation is okay. and we will know our next line of action. So excuse me, please. Okay. See ya. Just for me, thank you, Joker. Don't come out for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think I took you. I didn't have your boss, so. And then you stopped me about some iron stuff, huh? I am not in trouble. Yes. Knocking! Hi! How are you doing? Thank you. You look great. Okay, is that you? For real? Yeah. Wow. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too. Yeah, thanks, thanks. You got me with setting up the lights for Oh, please. Yeah, I told you I was that we were going to come back. Yeah. Oh, my lady is not. Not really my thing, you know. I've always uh, cherished the memories I've had about our togetherness. So here am I. I only came back today, and I'm looking for you already. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm so where's everybody? Are you home alone? Hmm? What, what are you doing now? Where, where, where is Martha? You mean Martha? Yeah, where is she? Okay. She traveled to France with her classmates. Whoa. On one year class in French language. So she's a French student now? Yeah. Beautiful. When she comes back, she'll be writing her degree project. That's cool. That's cool. So what are you doing now? Hmm? I am so, 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 so glad that you're not the one that traveled. Well, I'm in my 311th university, studying mass communication. Hmm? But why are you happy that I'm not the one who traveled to France? Come on. If you were the one that traveled, we wouldn't be having this conversation now, would we? You know, I told you I was going to come back. I always told you I was going to come back. That I cherish you, I love you, and uh, I was going to come back and get you. I have one month to be in Nigeria. And I intend to make you my wife. Um, can I offer you something? No, 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 no. Hey, this is what we're gonna do. I have some money to spend. All right, so let's go somewhere cool where we can sit down and chat, catch up on things. Right. You know, like get to know ourselves away from the family. All right. Let's be. If you insist. All right, cool, cool. Okay. Don't be wrong. Mary, I love you very much. And um, I wish to make you my wife. Why not wait after one year? There are lots of things we need to take into consideration. I understand that, but I, 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 don't, I still don't think so. Because we've known each other for many years, 
We've been seeing each other for God knows how long. So what is there to wait for? Besides, my parents are home, waiting to find out if you accept my proposal or not. Because they're ever ready to go and find me a bride, and I don't want that to happen. You mean you cannot be able to wait for my chances not to come back unless my marriage? I am desperate. Desperate. I have only one month. I will accept your proposal on one condition. Okay. What is it? Call me by my native name, Chica. Yes. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I don't think that should be a problem because I also bear my native name, Chima, so a big deal. So, um, to husband and wife to be, to Chika and Chima. Chima, it's a pleasure. <laughs> I'm back! And she's willing to marry me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's good, that's good. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Have you yes. seen the girl? I mean, we need to see our daughter in law to be first of all. Wow, you will see her. And I know you will like her. I hope so. <laughs> because I like her. <laughs> I'll bring her here. for one month. And he said he wants to marry me before he goes back and resume working in Canada. Oh, but marriage. Oh! Wait, let, let me hear. And what did you tell him? Yes. I agreed to marry him. Ah, just like that. You mean at this time and age, someone can just jump down from the aircraft and kidnap you just because of dollar. Hey! Can you imagine? No, 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 Chica. Chica, you failed it. How could you agree to marry him just like that? It's true you knew him five years ago, but he could have changed. You know what it is with all this uh, Western culture? It turns our people into... Sister, you seem to be so much in a hurry. Why? Daddy, I've assessed him. He has not changed. He's dead. He has improved positively. If I may come in here, how are you going to cope with the urgency of the marriage? Your twin sister barely traveled for two weeks ago. Who will assist you? I mean, I'm your younger brother. There are things I can do for you. Even Oge okay here. That won't be a problem. I have some friends who will help. Hmm. As for my twin sister, I don't want to bother out my marriage because she has her studies to face. I, I may not even inform her so that she won't start considering the long trip. You know, France is such a distance. Okay, okay. Go and get the young man. I want to see him. First thing first. Thank you, baby. There's no sense here. Just bring him. You have to. You have no sense here. 
for doing it. Come on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Can you imagine? Daddy, why do you bother so much? Why? Personally, I don't have anything against my sister. Get married to whomever. Apart from the fact that she's she's in a hurry. Why should she hurry? Why should my daughter give people the impression that I cannot look after them? Huh? No. I doubt if it's all about such impressions, Dad. Now they will be saying that my daughter is running after the young man. Just because he's the Ophesi type. Ophesi? Ophesi is no new to us. After all, Sister Mary is in France following our university program in French language. So tell me that. Is that one not what is? I don't know why twins behave the way they do. She should have sought our opinion before accepting to marry the young man. It even marvels me that she could accept to marry that man without consulting her twin sisters, whom she cherishes so much. Okay. It's a surprise. So what do we do now? What do we do? She's carried away by the fantasy of traveling overseas just because her twin sister did so. Hmm. Let me say my own here. Eh? Mata will never marry that man. Full final stop. No. Remove that full stop and put commander. I'm thinking in the direction of another possibility. What possibility? Go and ask your daughter questions. If she has become pregnant for the young man, let her tell us. That could be the only reason for her being in a hurry. But that cannot be possible. The young man just came back from Canada a few days ago. How could she have been pregnant for him? Just like that. Don't worry, Mom. Before the man comes here, I'll make sure I talk to Sister Mata. Okay, Chi. Can you please excuse us for a while? Pregnant for him. Just like that? No, Mom. Is, is he promising you anything that you think your father cannot afford? No. He's aware you are twins, right? Yes. What makes you think he's not carried away by that? You know, some people are usually fascinated when they see twins. Gemma is too civilized to start hallucinating at the sight of twins. Hallucination. That is the word. He's not hallucinating, Mom. Neither am I. Are you aware that some young men who live overseas like expedition a lot? You may just see two people chatting. Before you know it, one will say, Bet me. If I go to Nigeria, within one month, I'll get married and bring my wife here. Are you laughing? No, Mom. They say such things, and they mean it too. Mom, Chima is not like that. I knew him before he traveled. Have you checked his genotype? His racist factor? His HIV status? Have you checked all this before saying yes to him? Yes. I knew his genotype before he left Nigeria. Same applies to his racist factor. As for his HIV status, we did a test yesterday and the result was permitting. <sighs> what about his family? His parents? Family history? Do you know whether they live long? Whether they are victims of circumstances? Whether they have madness in their family? You know that some people don't see old age. 
these are the factors you have to consider before saying yes to a man just because he jumped down from an international plane. Mommy, do you hate Chima? No, not really. I, I just want to know the truth. These are very important factors. Then accept him. It won't be as easy as that. You have to check all these things. And prove them right. Before we accept him. If you don't hate him, accept him. I have to be sure. Be careful with that thing you're doing. Because if you twist so much, it will look like you go sick. God forbid. Who is talking about who goes in this generation? Just to park my head behind, you're busy bunching me from one corner to corner. Hey, sister. I've been trying Sister Mary's phone number, but it just refuses to go. I wonder. Have you informed her of your marriage plans? Because it's now obvious that the marriage will hold in her absence. I think she deserves a chat on phone, at least to inform her. Did Chima come here today? Sister, who will be your chief bridesmaid in the absence of your twin sister? Anybody can do it. Anybody? Yes. You don't go to the cyber cafe again the way you used to. Network inconsistency. Daddy was suspecting that you might have become pregnant from Kuchima. Is it true? Was that why mommy came to ask me a question? I don't know. But sister, let me ask you. What's exciting you so much about Kuchima that you're taking such a quick dive into marriage with him? Okay. Stop gossiping. It will not help you. I'm not gossiping. I'm only asking you. Stop it though. Hey, please do my hair. This is Matthew Obira. Good day, sir. Good day, ma. My dear, you're welcome. And who is it? That's Mike. I don't need to introduce him. Okay, that's Mike, my younger brother. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? The naughty head. Hi. My daughter, you are welcome once again. Thank you. I thank you for making my son happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't hesitate to offer my blessings to both of you. Thanks, Dad. I mean, we have eyes for good things. Yes. Chica has taken my fancy. <laughs> you have my support. Thanks, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I will ask for permission to go home with Chima. I told my parents about him and they requested to meet him. That is necessary. You are free to go with him. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Dad. Thank I will you. give you the feedback. Okay. Dad, can I go with him? You're free. All right. You can go with him. No. Oh, why? Why are you asking them? You should be asking me. Okay, please. No. Please. Okay, be behind us. <laughs> I said much about you. 
And we want to hear from you who you are, what you do, and why you want to marry our daughter. My name is um, Chima Obiora, and that's my younger brother, Mike. Um, I have been living in Canada for the past five years, where I obtained my master's degree, and subsequently I've been working with one of the biggest telecommunications company there, and I've been with them since. Um, even though I've been away, I've been in constant communication with you all the whole time. And we've cherished and loved ourselves. And um, um, I am financially stable now. So I thought the time is right to come and ask her in marriage. That's very good. I must say that my daughter was right in her description of you. Um, you are welcome. Thank you, sir. Well, we are not unaware of your visit, so we have something to entertain you with. Chica? Yes, sir. Get the table ready. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Like that. What's your problem? You may do well to call him Uncle Chima. That's right. Did you hear that? Don't tip up. What's wrong with matter? Why is still like that? Immediately we left, she started weeping. We tried our best to call her, but she wept along. So her mother in law now asked her to follow me back to her house. Maybe she's yet to get used to her husband's family house. Why are you crying, Martha? Nothing. It cannot be nothing. We're home now. Talk to mommy. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Gra, are you missing your husband? <laughs> are you missing your husband already? What do you say, one man? Your brother will never change. I guess she's nursing the absence of two people now her twin sister and her husband, one in France. And the other in Canada. It was a compulsory risk. I just hope you will understand. The best way to make use of opportunity is by not letting it go. Love is so amazing, so divine. Revive my soul, my life, my all. How are you, big sister? You crying? Why are you crying? Oh, are you missing your husband or your twin sister? Hmm? Whatever. I, I think when a woman is married, you know, she is married, and the best place for her is her husband's place. I would suggest you go over to your husband's place. Odoka, what is the meaning of this? I still remember what happened the day I married your mother-in-law. Do you know that she refused to follow me to my village? Really? She was busy crying and displaying some emotions before her parents. It was such a funny thing. So what you did the day your husband traveled back to Canada was normal. Did anybody rebook you? No. <laughs> if anybody tells you nonsense, just let me know. Nobody has the right to abuse my daughter-in-law. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> has he called you on phone today? Not yet. He calls around 12 midnight, Nigeria call time. <laughs> so you people already have special discussion time? Yes. <laughs> that's his vacation time over there. Oh, well, that's good. I am happy my wife is smiling again. I am happy. Okay. You go and help your mother-in-law in the kitchen. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may do well to cook that kind of soup you cooked the other day. 
Which one? The one she my ate and started singing. <laughs> I will. Okay. Please try, eh? Okay. Oh. You're enjoying it. Why won't I? Yay! Mm. Mm. Sister Mary coming from France. Ah! Yes. Is she alright? What did she say? She said she'll be coming back next month. Oh my god. That would be great. Eh? Uh, Ejima? She also said she has been dialing her twin sister's number. But it seems the line is bad. This is the matter change her phone number. You should know if she did now. Just buy the number and we'll call her. Anyway, next month is here. Let's just wait for her. Oh, no, <laughs> that will be great. I'd like to drink. Oh. Yes. Okay, go get a glass. A little red wine for a little girl. Ah, thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> Can someone tell me where Martha went? <clears throat> I understand how you feel. I mean, you are identical to us, and you share everything in common. But we also understood how crucial your program in France was. Yes. So we supported Chica to keep the news of her marriage from you. We are very sorry. I can't believe this. How can I see her? She can give me a better explanation. She stays at 25 Fumoji Street with her parents in law. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please, can someone tell me something meaningful? Where is my twin sister, Mother? We just told you. She got married. Excuse me. Okay, 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 okay. She got married. Mary. Mary. Knocking at the door of your own house. I'm sorry, I'm Chica's twin sister. Ooh. Hey, I'm so sorry. Hi, how are you? I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. We've not heard what's about you. Okay, come in, come in, sit down, come in. <laughs> come in. Mommy! Yes. Mommy, come and see Chica's duplicate. <laughs> oh. Chica, are you back? 
Come on, this is not Chica, this is her twin sister. What? <laughs> this is her twin sister. What? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, my dear. We've heard so much about you from Chica. Yeah. Really? We didn't know you were this alike. Yeah. You're welcome, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Please find yourself a drink. Oh. No, no, I mean, it's so obvious, you know. I've been speaking with her, you know. Don't need to tell me. <laughs> um, I want to take her to my room. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. You're welcome, huh? You. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, my grandmother, I'll take you to her room. I thought I was doing you a favor. I didn't want you to abandon your studies just for the wedding. You all were so wrong. How could you think I would abandon my studies? I could have been part of it without coming home if informed. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mm. Please. Okay, I forgive you. So, where is your husband? He's gone back to Canada where he resides. I see. He's not based there. Yeah. So how do I say him? Anyway. Can I see your wedding pictures? None is with me right now. My husband took them to his base to show his friends and colleagues. He will also use some to prepare my visa to Canada. You mean your husband took all your wedding pictures to Canada and no, you have none with him? Yeah, but don't worry. When my father-in-law comes back, I will get the few that he has and bring them to our family house for you. For now, let's talk about your experiences in France, okay? So tell me, how did you go? It was fine, you know, Angel, Masala. It was nice seeing you. I'm just kidding. There. Hello, my dear. I think there's something about Chica's marriage that confuses me. Are you still grieved? Not anymore, Dad. But my instinct tells me that something is wrong somewhere. Can you believe that Chica refused to show me her wedding pictures? What was her reason? She said she had none with her that her husband took her to Canada. That's nothing to bother your head about. I can't imagine what could possibly be wrong with her marriage. After all, my in-law was here with us throughout before their wedding. It's okay. Maybe I'm only being inquisitive. No, you don't have to be here. Okay, I don't have to be this. Okay. Let me finish up with one. That's all right. Take it for that. Mama. I'm displeased with Chica. She's been so secretive for my life. <laughs> I think I know where your problem is. I know you're missing the intimacy that existed between both of you. The togetherness, wearing of uniform to church together, and other social functions, and even lots more. <laughs> Far from that. I've always known that someday, different men may want to marry us. But not this way. I mean, I feel like a total stranger to my darling sister. I can't even have a glance of her pictures wedding. I mean, somehow, can you imagine? Ah. Oh my God. Uncle Chima is the most handsome and gentle relative I have had. Wow. I appreciate him a lot. Don't worry, sister. You get to meet him someday. That's only if she will allow me. Please stop sounding like that, sister. Please. Just stop it. Why won't she allow me? Come to 
to share with you an important secret. I have a wedding pictures, but I never wanted you to see them in my matrimonial home. Thank you. You know him. He's Stanley, but his native name is Jimmy. Some months ago, he came into town and desperately desired a wife. I suggested he waited for you, but he wouldn't heed the suggestion. So when I realized we were going to lose him to another girl, I decided to take your place. So you married to Stanley as me? No. I told him I would prefer to be going by my native name, Chica. He wasn't familiar with that. Papers, what? My Canada travel? I didn't know it was going to come out so early. I'm so excited. Um, why didn't you wait for us to vacate for this time? I don't work at the embassy. I didn't. Uh, I don't have control over when it's supposed to come out, when it's not supposed to come out. <laughs> you should be happy for me. Yeah, but anyway. Okay, at least stop coming to disturb me. Yeah, right. Coming to call me out of class with yeah, something right. could be going on. Yeah, right. So I can go to the university. <laughs> okay, fine. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, just know that whatever happens, no matter how long I'm gone, I'm gonna love you and cherish you forever. No I'm one is him. loving and cherishing me forever. Excuse me? If you like, I'll just mention his name now. No, no, no. <laughs> Please don't mention any name. I don't want to get jealous. Okay, we have to go back to class now. Fine, all right. Come here, you. Let's take care of yourself. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. And look after your sis. I will. And uh, just know that I'm going to love you and cherish you no matter how long I'm gone. Just take care of yourself. I'll be taking care of myself. And I promise you I'll be waiting for you. Sure. Yes. And you won't be listening to this small, small voice. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is the trail. Men! Men! told me that you could do this to me, I wouldn't have believed. Ejima, why are you shouting? What is wrong with you? So you all can kill, eh? So you all can kill. Oh! Chiriki. Ejima, what's wrong with you this afternoon? What is it? What's your problem? You know, Kuala? What is happening here? Ejima, why do you push down your mother's head? I will yet push down everything in this house if you all fail to give me strong explanations. Explanations about what? You were there when my twin sister got married to my husband to be. No wonder you all planned and kept everything from me. No wonder. Ejima, how? You still haven't told me why you nearly pushed me down this afternoon. What have I done to you? Are you mad? Chima was my boyfriend before he traveled to Canada. Before he left, we planned a future together. Then I went to France and Chima came back to Nigeria looking for me. And my twin sister went and blocked my space, presenting herself as me. Hey! She took advantage of the fact that 
Chima cannot differentiate between the two of us. And she married my husband. Mata went and married my own husband. Hey! you do such a thing to your twin sister? Daddy, please. We shall talk when I come to the house. No, 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 no. no. Tell me everything here. Your sister is threatening fire and brimstone. And it is not right for both of you to see face to face now. Daddy, if she wants to kill me, let her do so. Chima had only one month to marry from her family. And from the look of things, he had equal love for me and my sister. Even before he traveled out. He often asked me out mistakenly, thinking that I'm my sister. So... So, you thought this is the right time for you to cast shame on my family? Do you know the gravity of the offense you've committed? I don't know why you like experimenting with expensive chances. Now, see what you have done. See where it has landed you. Daddy, please ask my sister to forgive me. It was a question of chance and I had to take it. Just like that? Daddy, please. We shall talk when I come to the house, okay? Ha! <sighs> oh, God. I don't know what to say regarding this matter. I don't know where to start from. I don't know where to start from. Oh God. I couldn't have believed that your own twin sister would do such a thing to you. Why? Sister, you just have to forgive her. Please. I tried my best. I tried to reach you on phone or by mail throughout that period. But it didn't work. Sister, believe me, I tried my best though, but it didn't work. I even asked Sister Mata so many questions. I asked her so many questions that at the time she said, getting angry with me. Why on earth did she do this to me? Why? I don't just know. I don't know. Even me, I'm not happy with her. I'm not just happy with her at all. Oh, my God. Sister, what do we do now? Do we throw her away now that she has already committed the atrocity? Please. All we need to do is to try as much as we can to keep this from her husband's family. Please, do not extend your anger so much. Otherwise, you may ruin her marriage and it will result in double damage. Will you shut up? If you don't know how to talk here, just get up and walk. Sister, get out! Sister. Just get out! Hello? Hello? And who is this bastard? My dear sister, please. I want to come to the house and explain things to you. Explain things to me? You are a disappointment. You are stressful as epidemic. It was such a big decision I had to take. I was both stupid and wise, but... Don't you ever call this line again. I forbid you. Please. I want to come to the house and talk with everybody. Please oblige me. 
Nobody comes here to explain any rubbish to me. That's the way it is. Rubbish. Hello? Hello? And where do you think you're going? Listen, I brought your sister so you can talk to her. So you brought this daughter of Lucifer to come and talk to her intestine? Tell her to leave here this minute. Ngozi, you have... You think I am joking? If you don't leave here this minute, I am going to commit murder. Listen, Ngozi, you're not going to call mother because she's your sister. Excuse me. Yeah. 